Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Peter and today's video is featuring the FX Wildcat Mark III and it is a hunt for power because I have been out investing in this 2.5 inch plenum. I don't know if you can call it a power plenum but uh, let's call it a power plenum and we are going to test it to see what kind of gains in velocity you get from the gun after installing this. But before I start taking the gun apart and installing this, I want to show you what kind of average velocity the gun is performing with in its current setup. Okay, so now that the gun has uh, been set up, ready to shoot, uh, and before I start shooting I just want to go through my settings. Not that they are all that important, but uh, just to tell you that uh, they will be the same from uh, shooting um, the gun without the plenum to when I have installed the plenum. But the regulator is set at 118 bar and the hammer wheel is maxed out. I'm not sure what the adjuster screw is at, but anyway, it doesn't really matter for this test. So now let's take uh, 10 shots and see what the average uh, velocity is. Okay, so it looks like this. There's a, an average of 952 feet per second. Uh, let's not talk about the spread here because um, I can't say that I'm too happy with it, but the standard deviation of nine. The thing that we, we are looking at here is uh, the average and that's uh, 952. So uh, let's see how it uh, performs with the power plenum installed. Okay, so now we've established the average velocity of the gun without the plenum, so now it's time to attach the plenum to the gun. Before you take the gun apart, it's very important to degas the gun. I already did this, so let's start the disassembly. I'll speed up the process so I don't take too much of your time. Now that I've taken off the air tube, it's time to install the, the O-ring on the plenum. Just loop it up and attach it, it's very easy. It goes right on. And as some of you might have noticed <laughs> from my introduction and until now, the, the length of the plenum has, uh, has uh, reduced in size and that's because uh, the plenum that I got was uh, was too big, so um, I had to uh, to to cut it down to to fit. There is something about uh, the Mark III with uh, different versions of it. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into that, but, but before ordering this, be sure that you get the the right plenum. It's a pain in the if you have ordered it uh, from the U.S. and gotten it into Europe with the yeah. Uh, shipping fees and uh, customs and everything and then you get a plenum that doesn't fit but luckily it, it can be cut down and I uh, I paid uh, some guys off with some cake to, to do it so that was uh, that was an easy fix but anyway uh, have <laughs> back to, to the gun uh, I've taken the air tube off and here's the plenum and it's just to uh, to screw them together like this and if you get a plenum that's too big it will, it will stop like here with uh, about eight millimeters to go but now that it's been taken care of it uh, locks in very nice and it's uh, it's an easy fix so now it's just to fit it back in here to the gun turn it on like like this So 
sometimes expectations and ability doesn't go hand in hand. And this is one of those situations. I meant to show you exactly how to uh, mount this power plenum, but I just had to, had to give up because it was a complete mess and I just want to, to spare you the time. So if you want to see it done in the right way, there are uh, videos here on YouTube that, uh, that are, I'll advise you to seek out. But anyway, I got it mounted and I did it myself. I promise Scout's Honor, I did it myself. But here it is, the gun is filled up and it's ready to take into the garden and start the shooting. Before we continue the video, I'd like to explain what the power plenum is and why to install it. But let's take a closer look at the gun and let me explain. Up here you find the main air cylinder and back here you find the original plenum with the regulator on it and back here you find the power plenum. I'm not sure what the size of the original plenum is, my guess is around 20cc, but if you know for sure, please leave a comment in the comment section below. The power plenum has a volume of 30cc, so that's quite an increase in regulated air. When you shoot the gun with the original plenum, the pressure of the burst will remain high very shortly, simply because there's not much air available. So to compensate for that, you'll need to crank up the regulator pretty high to accelerate the slot down the barrel. But after installing the power plenum, you'll see that the pressure of the burst will remain higher for longer, simply because there's much more air available. So that gives you more consistent burst of air, and this means that you can lower the regulator and thereby have more shots. Okay, so now I'm ready to see if there's any change at all after installing the power plenum. Uh, the settings are exactly the same as they was when I shot it without the, plenum, the power plenum. So that's the regulator at 118 and the hammer at 7. So with that said, remember that the average velocity um, without the power plenum was uh, 952 feet per second. So let's see um, if there's uh, any difference. Okay, that's an improvement. 1,002. Wow. And it doesn't read. 1,018. Oh my god. 1,002. One thousand four. One thousand four. That's a huge increase in velocity. I don't know why it doesn't read. No, never mind. I shot a lot of shots and it, it, it didn't read like four of them. But uh, anyway, uh, this is how it looks. Uh, the average velocity is uh, 1,005 feet per second. So that's a gain of uh, 53 feet per second uh, with the power plenum installed. So. Uh, yeah, that's what you can expect if you're planning on uh, doing the same thing. Okay, just let me interrupt here towards the end of the video. It's been uh, around a week since I shot the first part of the video and I had the time and uh, I thought that the video needed a little accuracy test. So I've taken, I've taken the wildcat into the forest and uh, placed it at uh, 75 yards or 82, no, uh, 75 meters and 82 yards to do a, a little test. So uh, uh, this is how it performs with the power plenum. I did a test with the gun without the power plenum and it did a group at around uh, 3 centimeters. So let's see if installing the power plenum has done anything to affect the accuracy.
that was a pretty decent group. Let's go measure it up. Okay, and let's take a closer look at the group. It is, of course I forgot my measuring tape, so I have to, to write it here at the bottom of, of the screen. But anyway, I think this is a much better group than uh, I shot without the power plenum. So as for accuracy, it is a good idea to install the power plenum on the Wildcat Mark III. Conclusion is, why do it? Uh, do we do it because we want the extra velocity? I would say that I could get the velocity that I wanted with the slugs by just uh, turning up the regulator. But installing this, I can actually turn down the regulator or uh, lower the hammer so I don't put too much uh, tension on the system. But anyway, that's the result of uh, today's test. So in case that you, uh, you have a plan, uh, I, could, uh, I could only uh, recommend uh, an upgrade like this. So with that said, take care and uh, shoot safe.